All right, let's have a look at the rotational cipher question in the strings section here. So the idea here is, um, well, again, I'd re recommend that you read the question here, but the idea is you're given an input string and a rotation factor. And the rotation factor means that you just replace each character with uh, another character that's kind of later in the alphabet by the rotation factor and things wrap around from from Z to A, right? So uh, here they give the example of zebra turns into this with a rotation factor of three because so Z gets wrapped around to I guess ABC and then E goes to F, G, H, right? And then for the numbers, things are rotated three as well. So four plus three is seven. Uh, nine plus three is 12, but mod 10, it's two and so on. And for the special characters, they don't change, right? So we're given this input and we just have to rotate the string by the given amount. So fairly simple problem. If you know a few tricks uh, with with characters and strings in Python. So uh, let me show you a few things. So I'm going to open up my Python interpreter here. And uh, you can actually get the, the ASCII value for a character by typing in ORD. That's a built in function in Python. So ORD of a is going to be, oh, sorry, it's going to be 97, and ORD of uh, B is going to be 98, and so on. And if you want to go from the number, from the integer, back to the character, you can type uh, CHR for character, I guess. That's also a built-in function, right? So if you do CHR of 98, you should, should, uh, should get back B, right? So we're going to use these two built-in functions to make our life a little bit easier here. So let's start with uh, creating an empty string. And then we're going to return that at the end. Uh, but here we got we to gotta figure out how to add to this empty string, obviously. So uh, input here is a string. Uh, let's call this s, OK, to make things simpler. Uh, and then for C in S, C is going to be a character in the string, right? We're going to go through every character and then uh, find the rotated character and then add it to the out empty string, right? So uh, we need to check what type of character C is, right? If it's a special character, we leave it alone. If it's a number, we, yeah, well, we got to deal with a number. If it's a letter, we got to deal with a letter. So. First of all, we can we can look at numbers. So how do we figure out if C is a number? We can do there's a there's a method for that for for strings in Python. So let's do if C dot is numeric. All right, that'll check if it's a number, right? Zero to nine. Or, and if it is, then what do we add to our output string? How do we rotate the number? So first of all, C is a, is a character, but it's, it's, uh, the data type is a string, right? So first we have to, we'll turn it into an int, and then we add the rotation factor, factor. There's no autocomplete here in this editor, so I have to type everything out. Um, and, then, and then we want to do things mod, mod 10, right? Because for example, nine turned into two, right? Nine didn't turn into 12. So we got to do uh, that and then mod 10. And then, and then this is still an integer. So let's turn that into a string, right? Okay, now we've taken care of the case where the character is a number. Now let's do uh, the case where it's a letter. So it could be either uppercase or lowercase. Uh, let's look at uppercase first. So uh, fortunately, you can just check that easily with is upper. And then 
Okay, now it's a bit trickier. So now we're going to use that built-in function I talked about, ORD, right? So uh, this will give us an integer. And then, but the thing is about these, uh, about these integer values for the letters, it, it doesn't start at zero, right? So if we look at ORD, since we're doing uppercase, let me do ORD of A. Okay, A is 65, right? So, since yeah, this doesn't start at zero, right? So we got to subtract off this uh, this number, right? This, to know where we are in the alphabet. So we're going to subtract off ORD of A, and then we can add the rotation factor and, and do mod 26, right? So then rotation factor and then and then we can do mod 26 so that'll give us the the location of the alphabet of the letter what we should add to our out string here right uh, now we got to convert it back to the to the actually ascii value Right, so how do we do that? Let's store this in a val in a variable. Let's call it uh, t for temp, okay. And then to get the actual character that we want to output, we do um, so we do ord of a plus t, right? Um, so that'll give us the, the ASCII value, and then we need to turn that into the character, right? And then we can add it to our string. Okay, that should take care of that. Now let's do the case where, uh, am I lined up here? Yeah. Now let's do lowercase, so it's gonna be the same idea. Uh, so let, let me just type it out, c dot is lower. And then what do we need? Okay, we'll do another temp variable here. And I'm going to copy this. Uh, now we're just doing lowercase, right? And then copy that. Uh, just a second. Okay, here we're doing lowercase a. Okay, now they want two spaces. Okay, never mind. Okay, and then the last case is the case where it's a special character, right? It's neither a number nor an upper or lowercase letter. So we just do else and we just append it, right? Out plus equal to C. Okay, and so I think that should cover uh, most of the case or all the cases here. So let's run it and see if it passes the test cases. So the key to this, oops, okay, so it looks like that passed, passed the test cases, and yeah, all right, thank you very much for watching.